Hello YouTube. I just wanted to show y'all that I do got some um, spiral curls in my hair. It's only 10 of them, so I don't expect no dramatic curls or nothing. Um, just a little bit um, of volume without any additional heat from the flat iron. Because I did, I was guilty, y'all. I used the flat iron yesterday on my already flat iron hair. And the reason why is because I just went to my old high school yesterday and got to meet all my old teachers. And I found out two of them left. My, one of my favorite math teachers and my science teacher left. So, but I'm about to meet everybody else. I did not want to put any more heat on my hair today. Um, I do got a date later on tonight, finally, after eight months. So I want to add some volume to my hair with these spiral curls that I showed y'all a few videos back in my last, in my December haul video, the last haul video for 2012. Side note, y'all, my skin might look a little bit different. Number one, because I'm wearing blue and blue reacts in a weird way to my skin tone my skin looks more glossy glowy with reds and earth tones blue on the other hand it doesn't this kind of blue doesn't fade me out but it gives a more subtle effect so i think my skin tone is more on the neutral side but anyways it's in regards to these, I am about to take them out right now, and I'm going to show y'all the results. So I'll be back with y'all in five minutes. This is what my hair looks like just taking it out. I know it looks crazy. Um, I had only ten of them in here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had only 10, so it's a pack of 18. I'm I'm sure it will become more defined as my skills improve. And, yeah, I'm sure it'll come out looking better when my skills are improved. Y'all know my first flat twist out looked at horrible, but by the third, it started looking decent. So I'm assuming the same thing is going to go for this. So I'm going to work with this, you know, fluff it out a little. Well, not fluff it out, but go through the curls a little bit and I'll be back with y'all in a minute. Okay, YouTube, these are the final results. Um, we got, um, the curls were real defined in the front area. I don't know if y'all can see or not. And they were real defined in the front because I was able to wrap it up a little bit more. Um, I went from the back to the front, and since this is my first time doing it, obviously I was going to be rusty. I did not expect flawless results. I do not expect flawless results for anything that I do on the first try, whether it's a flat twist out, two-strand twist, or my first spiral curl set. Um, number one is I, if you're just watching this channel, my hair is not naturally straight. Um, I, I do have kinky 4C hair. So my hair is not able to do what perm hair can do. I'm not able to um, twist my hair all kinds of ways like Caucasian hair. Even though I'm of, I am of Caucasian descent, hello, I am obviously more black. So this how it came out on me. Um, the way I did it, it creates more of a wave effect. Um, if I can, I include some pictures in better lighting later on. Um, when you wrap your hair in the middle and roll it up and bend it, it creates waves. But if you if you're able if you have longer hair and if you're able to wrap your hair all throughout it, it creates spiral curls, and that's what I wanted. But my hair at the unique length that it is that it's at grow long in the back. My hair is 12 inches in the back and eight to nine inches on the sides it's hard to tell because of all this volume in my hair but my hair drops 12 inches and the sides come down a little bit longer so that being said i i wasn't necessarily able to wrap my hair all around so maybe i'll be able to do that by january overall i give this product four out of five stars it's pretty simple straight to the point 
um, well, I can't really give it a review yet. I'm going to try it a few more times. I'm going to try it with na my natural hair, and then I'm going to do a comparison. But overall, I am loving the results. Um, might do a little bit more tweaking with my combs. Um, I can use this section to add a little bit of volume and updo curls. Um, I can use this part as the rake, and I also got some several other combs that y'all haven't seen that can do some good effects with pressed and flat iron hair. So that is it, y'all. I will see y'all soon with a regular video.